Konnichiwa everyone! A few months ago we put up a poll on our channel asking you guys what kind of food you wanted to see in Japan and fast food in Japan won! So there are two types of fast food in Japan. There's the more western kind like McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, and Wendy's and the more Japanese kind like Yoshinoya, Matsuya, and Sukiya. We're gonna do videos on both types of fast food chain restaurants here in Japan but tonight we've decided to go to the most popular fast food chain restaurant in the world, McDonald's. My name is Hannah and this is What You Hannah Do, McDonald's in Japan. Woo! What you Hannah do, what you Hannah do when they come for you. We went to the McDonald's in Roppongi since it's quite a big one with two levels. Mac Cafe on the first floor and the regular menu McDonald's on the second floor. McDonald's in Japan is known to be pretty clean and also known to have a wide variety of menu options. We went at night because <clears throat> nighttime cravings. And we also wanted to go when there weren't too many people, but there were still a good amount of people when we went, so I'm sorry that the audio is a little bit messy. I'm sorry. We decided to order four burgers, three with different types of meat so that we can try what McDonald's Japan has to offer, and one burger that's a special seasonal item in Japan right now. After ordering, they gave us a receipt with a number and we just had to wait for our orders. Okay, so our orders are now here. So first we have the double spicy chicken burger. It has two chicken filet patties inside. Then we have the roasted soy sauce, bacon, tomato, thick beef burger from the Samurai Max series, spicy shrimp rice burger. And last but not least, from their mobile Gundam suits, we have the red spicy garlic teriyaki burger. And then we also have your typical french fries, and this is the large fries. And for an extra 100 yen, the jumbo-sized Coca-Cola. The last time I saw something this big was when I had McDonald's in the United States. So I'm pretty surprised because here in Japan, the portions are small. And then later on, we'll grab some dessert. Here we go. Itadakimasu. First, I'm going to give the spicy shrimp rice burger a try. I've never had a rice burger, so instead of a sesame bun, they have rice. I guess this is kind of like an Asian thing. In the Philippines, we used to have this, but we don't have it anymore. They removed it. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> I do like the shrimp patty. The rice is kind of throwing me off a little bit. So outside the rice is like crispy and then inside it's, you know, the typical texture of rice. I love the spicy sauce. It's basically just a spicy type of mayonnaise. It's quite good with the shrimp, but I don't know how I feel about this whole burger. But I love the shrimp. Honestly, I would probably rate this a uh, 5 or 6 out of 10. Not the best. I think this would suit like a sesame bun instead. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Coke. Uh, next, I'm going to try the double spicy chicken burger. I think there are a lot of menu items in Japan right now that have double patties. They even have a Big Mac right now that has four patties. <laughs> By the looks of it, I think the sauce is the same as the spicy shrimp burger. Quite good. I prefer this over the shrimp burger. Unfortunately, the patty is just a little bit dry. But since there is like a good amount of sauce, it's not bad. I would give the spicy chicken burger maybe like a six or seven out of ten. Getting better, <laughs> getting better. I'll have some of the fries. Mm. Mm. What I love about McDonald's Japan is that they will always, always do their best to fry new french fries so that it's always given to you fresh. No soggy fries here in Japan. 
Okay, next I'm going to try their red garlic teriyaki burger from the Mobile Suits Gundam series. Japan really loves their seasonal items. For cherry blossom season, they have drinks that look like sakura or cherry blossoms. They even have a like a pink sauce burger. And in Halloween, they had fries that had orange and black sauce on top of it. They love their seasonal items. They match it to whatever is happening in Japan. I don't know if it registers on camera, but the bun is a little redder. <laughs> redder than the usual bun. Here we go. Hmm. I actually really like this one. I love garlic, so this is <laughs> right up my alley. The teriyaki is, I'm not sure if you guys know, but it's kind of like a sweet sauce. And it worked really well with a garlic. Quite good. I would give this burger maybe like a 7 or 8 out of 10. <laughs> I love how the ratings are getting higher. I'm eating this in the proper order. And I love the bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? And last but not least, we're gonna try the roasted soy sauce bacon tomato thick beef burger from the Samurai Max series. I have a good feeling that this will be the best out of everything, so I saved it for last. You guys know I'm a save the best for last kind of girl. Here we go. Mmm. 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 I was right. This is definitely the best out of the four that we tried today. Mmm. I would say out of all the burgers, this is the one that's well balanced. I love this one. And I would give this burger maybe like a 9 out of 10 for thinking of McDonald's. Okay, so fun fact you guys, so McDonald's is the most popular fast food chain in the world but there are a few countries where it isn't number one. Where I'm from, McDonald's is not number one. <laughs> the number one fast food chain in the Philippines is Jollibee. In Canada, McDonald's is also not number one, it's Tim Hortons. In Korea as well, Lotteria is number one. And in China, can you guess what it is? It's actually KFC. Isn't that interesting? Mm. Mm. By the way guys, I don't know how accurate that is. That was more of like a Google search. <laughs> well, let me know if it's true, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. So now that the burgers are finished, we're gonna order some desserts. All right, I have my McFlurry. I wanted to order the mango and calpis McFlurry, but unfortunately they didn't have the calpis, so I went with a mango McFlurry instead. I live in the Philippines. We have a lot of mangoes, but I've never had mango McFlurry ever. <laughs> this will be new. Mm, it smells a lot like artificial mango, <laughs> but they do have some mango chunks in it, which is great, but ho hopefully it's pleasant tasting. <laughs> I never knew why the spoons were like this, kind of like a, this little number right here. I found out that they actually put this onto the machine so that it mixes the McFlurry. I didn't know. So we're gonna give it a try. I hope it's good. You know what? It's not bad. I'm still gonna eat it, still gonna enjoy it. Six out of ten? I still very much prefer the traditional Oreo McFlurry. Here in Japan, by the way, we have a double Oreo McFlurry. I actually really like that one. What about where are you guys from? Is there like a special McFlurry flavor? Let me know in the comments down below. Ooh, I also want to know what your favorite fast food chain restaurant is. Let me know too. I love having McFlurry with fries. Sweet and then salty and then sweet and then salty. Lovely cycle. And yeah, that's it. So let me know in the comments down below which one of the four burgers you'd like to try the most. And as always, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet, and see you in the next video. Woo! Oh, did you know that people in Tokyo call McDonald's maku and people in Osaka call it makudo? That's all. Ariga, thank you for watching.